guys how is it going uh, so a bit of a different uh, video today I suppose I'm gonna give you a bit of a review on something which basically involves me talking at length about a thing which you can probably do yourself but you know sometimes people just like to hear someone else talking about it so today I'll be talking about the Paris trucks the freestyle truck I've started using these fairly recently this is a bit of a first impressions review on them, just from what I've kind of picked up about them in the past week or two. And um, yeah, let's have a go. So Paris trucks are actually more known for their longboard trucks, really. Uh, so you might have heard of them before. You might have seen the 108s, which are the ones that I'm using. Uh, they're kind of used for freestyle. They're a freestyle size. So I've heard a lot of people talking about them and a lot of people really, really like them. So I thought I'd try them myself because obviously I had independence, uh, they bent. Goal wings, they snapped. It's partly my fault because, you know, I like a really tight truck. Uh, so people are raving about Paris. Thought I'd give them a go. Let's have a look. Right, first thing I noticed about these trucks, they are pretty tall, okay? So they're fairly comparable with the Goal Wing missions. So they are a taller truck. But that's a good thing for me personally, I like a tall truck, it's going to give you that bit more clearance for your manual tricks and for me it seems to pop really nicely up into rail tricks as well. So they are pretty tall, you're not going to need risers for these ones either, uh, so you know if you are skating with risers you can kind of put them in the bin for this unless you want to feel like you're riding a monster truck, in which case put your risers on and mow over everything in your path. So I'm riding the Paris trucks with the Cairo k 2 bushings. I'd always recommend you take the factory bushings out of your trucks because they're not always that good and Paris is no exception and that's no big deal. Pretty much every truck is like that and if you're skating freestyle you're probably going to want to change the bushings out. So I've done that with these ones. So these are riding with the Kairos. That means that these are basically the hardest bushings so I can really crank my trucks in and get them nice and tight as well. Now one thing about the Paris trucks that some people don't really like is that base plate is pretty big. It's a pretty chunky base plate. However, you've got a really nice platform for truck tricks there. Now honestly, like I shit you not, that platform for your truck tricks feels rad on the Paris trucks. They lock in to 50-50s and into pogo tricks so nicely. I would go as far as saying unparalleled by any other truck. That's a long word, isn't it? Unparalleled. Let me see if I can show you that base plate kind of clearance there. So can you see that? Oh, yeah, so that's a really nice big flat section that's going to sit really good with truck tricks. Personally, I really like that as a feature, but I know a lot of people don't because they say there's a lot of metal there. Um, I think it's rad. I think it's one of the best things about this truck. It feels great in truck tricks. Now as well, the kingpin sits pretty low. Let me see if I can show you that. So, there we are. It's a pretty low kingpin, which is pretty good. So, if you are learning pogo tricks, or even if you're doing pogo tricks in general, you're not going to be shredding your legs up too bad. That hanger rests quite nicely on the, um, on the inside of the leg there, so it doesn't feel massively uncomfortable for pogo tricks. Now in terms of response, they feel pretty solid, but if I'm being completely honest, I have my trucks so damn tight that they ain't going to respond to a lot of what I do anyway, so let's just skip over that bit. Now aside from the thicker base plate kind of being better for your truck tricks, it's also less likely to break, you know, bigger base plate, more metal means less break. Science! These are double drilled too, so they kind of work on modern freestyle decks and, you know, classic reissues as well. But I'd recommend you buy a modern 
freestyle deck and, and support freestyle companies if you can. So another another nice little move from Paris is the pivot cups inside these trucks are pre-lubricated to prevent squeaking, which is kind of cool. Um, if squeaking really, really bothers you, uh, it doesn't bother me too much, but it's still a pretty cool thing to do. And it just gives it that extra feeling of, you know, a bit of quality behind them and that they actually care about what they're putting into the trucks. So, nice one, yeah. Brilliant, so that's a really quick kind of crash review of these trucks. I like them personally. I'm very excited about them and I'm really, really enjoying riding them. Um, will they stand up to being thrashed around? Time will tell, uh, but I've not heard much um, in terms of negative comments about these. I'd recommend them. I'd give them five fingers out of five. Um, I think they're great. I think you should give them a try, particularly if you're used to riding a taller truck. Honestly though, you don't need to listen to my recommendations because you can do what you want. I mean, it doesn't matter what I'm going to tell you to do. You're probably still going to buy Indies. Nice one, Paris. I'm making a pretty sweet freestyle truck. I'd recommend you, you guys give them a go. And uh, thanks very much. Like, share, subscribe, whatever. Um, and we'll see you for another video soon. Cheers. Bye.